All right, so this next topic we're gonna be going over is gonna be finding fuel quantity, fuel flow, and time in regards to fuel. So what we're gonna be utilizing is fuel flow over the rate index equals fuel consumption over time in minutes. So if you're following along with the book, you're going to be on page 73. And unfortunately, just because of the way the book is set up, we're going to be jumping around question to question. So at least for fuel quantity, it's going to be questions 1, 2, and 3. Again, that's going to be on page 73. So the first, the first question is going to be saying that we have a fuel flow of 1,500 in a time of one hour and 25 minutes. So one hour and 25 minutes converted into minutes is gonna be 60 plus 25. That's gonna be 85 minutes. So now, by utilizing this ratio here, we know we're gonna take this side, we're gonna take 1500 and put it above our rate index. So we're gonna be utilizing our one hour mark right here. So we're gonna be looking for one five. We're gonna line up one five with that one hour mark. And then we're gonna be looking for time, which is gonna be on the bottom of the ratio. So it's gonna be on this blue right here. And the time we found out was 85. So now we're going to rotate around, find 85. 85 is right there. Now we're going to line up red line right with 85 and see what's on top. So now that looks to be right between 20, 2, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, and 2, 5. So it's 2, 1, 2. So right there, it's going to be, yeah, roughly around 2,125. So by estimating that, we determine that in the course of one hour and 25 minutes, the total fuel quantity, if the fuel flow is 1,500, is going to be 2,125 pounds. In the book, the answer shows 2,124, but that's close enough that you'll be able to find the answer on the paper. All right, so the next question is going to be the fuel flow of 175. The time is going to be 17 minutes, so you don't necessarily have to convert that. 17 minutes. So now what we're going to do, again, it's going to be Fuel flow over the rate index. So we're going to find 175, or in this case, it's going to be 17 and a half. So 17 and a half, we're going to line up our rate index again, which is going to be that one hour mark with 17 and a half. And then we're going to be looking for 17, so 17 minutes on the inside. So I'm going to rotate that around, find 17, which is right there, line up that red line right there, and that's between 45 and 50, so it looks to be 49.5. So in this case, it's going to be 49.5 pounds. So one thing that I did forget to mention in the beginning is that you always want to estimate. So if you're looking at this and you see a fuel flow of 1,500 and it's over one hour, then it's most likely going to be a higher number than 1,500. Then again here, you see 175 for the fuel flow and the time is 17 minutes. 17 minutes is approximately one third of an hour. So you're going to be looking for a number that is approximately one third of the fuel flow here. So it's an easy way to just estimate before you get too 
far into the problem because if you get too far into the problem, you may get confused and you may choose the wrong answer. All right, so moving on, we're gonna move on to the last one, which is a fuel flow of 550 for three hours and 30 minutes. So three times 60 is gonna be 180, and then 180 plus 30 is gonna be 210 minutes. So we're gonna have a fuel flow of 550 for 210 minutes. All right, so now we're gonna find the fuel flow of 550 above our rate index. So we're gonna rotate this around. All right, so 550, you can see right that right there, 500, so 5.5 five over your rate index of the one hour mark. And then you're gonna be looking for 21 on the inside, inside this blue. So 21, you're just gonna be taking off that, le that last zero. You're gonna be finding it right there. So 21, 21, line up that red line. And you can see right there, it's gonna be right at, I would say about one nine and a quarter. So one nine two five. So one nine two five pounds. So the answer in the book is one thousand nine hundred and twenty pounds. So not far off. You'll be able to figure out the answer from the options that are given to you. All right, so now we're going to move on to fuel flow. So in this problem, number five, number eight, and number 11, we're still going to be on page 73. So for fuel flow, you're given a time, which we need to convert into minutes for you to make it usable for this problem. And you're also given a fuel quantity. So you're trying to figure out how fast your engine is burning through the fuel. So we're going to start here. Time, one hour is 60 minutes, plus 15 is 75 minutes. So now we're trying to find the fuel flow. So we're going to have the fuel flow above the rate, but we have the fuel consumed right here. The fuel consumed was 2,500 and the time was 75 minutes. So we're going to find... 2.5 on the outside, and then find 7.5 on the inside. All right, so we're going to find 2.5 on the outside. And then we're going to find 7.5 on the inside. We're going to line those two up. 2.5 on the outside, 7.5 on the inside. Now we're going to rotate until we get right to our rate index, which is showing two zero right on top. So in 75 minutes, the fuel quantity that was burned through is 2,500. So therefore we know that the fuel flow is going to be slightly less than that. So that means that the fuel flow is going to be 2,000 pounds per hour. All right, so moving on to number eight. So for this one, fuel quantity that we went through was 117. So because this was less than one hour, we know that this number is going to be larger. So if there's, a, if there's an option that shows on the test that there's a number less than this, then it's obviously wrong. So if we're here, it's gonna be 45 minutes. I'm just gonna write this over here. All right, so again, so we're gonna have the fuel consumed over the time. So we're gonna be looking for One one point seven, so that's going to be right there. 
over 45. So we're going to line up 45, 45 with 117. So as you can see right there, 11, 11.5, and then 11.7 is right there. We're going to line it up with the inside, which is 45. So now we're going to rotate it and go over to our rate index. So our rate index right here is going to be the one hour mark. And on the outside, we're going to see 15 and 16. So it's going to be right at 15.6. So in this case, we saw that the fuel quantity was this, so we need a larger number than that. So it's going to be 156 pounds per hour. All right, so for this last one, number 11 for fuel flow. It's going to be 6 hours and 30 minutes. 6 hours times 60 is going to be 360 minutes plus 30 it's going to be 390 minutes. So our fuel quantity is going to be 25,000. And our time is going to be 390 minutes. So we're going to be looking for 25 on the outside and then 39 on the inside. So first let's find 25 on the outside. 25 is right there. And then 39 is going to be set up right on the inside. So 25 on the outside and 39 on the inside. Now we're going to rotate it, look for our rate index. So our rate index is going to be right there. So now we're going to be finding out what's going to be on the outside. So 35, 36, 37, 38, 385. So 38 and a half. So this is where that estimation comes into play. It's not going to be 385 pounds per hour. It's going to be 3,850 pounds per hour. All right, so for this last section, we're going to be looking for time. You're given a fuel flow and you're given a fuel quantity. Again, we're on page 73. We're going to be going over questions 6, 7, and 10. So we're going to take our fuel flow, and we're going to put that over our rate index. And then we have our fuel quantity. So we're going to have that on the outside, and we're going to be looking for the time on the inside. So let's take fuel flow, which is two, 270, and then our fuel quantity, which is 3,250, so we're going to be looking for 27 and then 32 and a half. So we're going to be looking for 27 on the outside. And then we're going to line up our rate index right at 27. So 25, 26, 27 against our rate index. So now we have our fuel consumption. So we're going to be looking for 32 and a half on the outside. So 30, 31, 32, 32 and a half. We're going to line up that red line. And you can see right there, it's going to be right in between 70 and 80. So for that, we're going to have 70, 71, 72, and let's say, say, Let's do 72 and a half. So that's going to be 725. But remember, this is going to be in minutes. So 72.5. So now we're going to go pull that over to this chart right here. The rule of 60. You're not going to have a lot of time for the test. So it's better just to reference the rule of 60. Don't screw it up. It's not worth it. So 720 is right there for 725. So the time converted is going to be 12 hours. And the remaining minutes is going to be 5. 
zero five, and zero seconds. So the correct answer per the book is gonna be 12 hours and two minutes. 12 hours and five minutes is close enough, it's gonna to get to the correct answer. All right, moving on to number seven. We have a fuel flow of 1,400 and a fuel quantity of 15,000. So we're gonna be looking for 14 on the outside above our rate index, and then we're gonna go over and we're gonna look for 15 on the outside and find our time on the inside. So again, 14 on the outside, 14's right there. I'm gonna rotate our rate index so it lines up right there. And then we're gonna be looking for 15 on the outside. 15 on the outside is right there. Line up that red line if you want. And then we're gonna look on the inside. All right, so this is gonna be 60. So 61, 62, 63, 64, 642. Yeah, that's gonna be right around 642. So that's gonna be 642 minutes. Going back over here for the rule of 60, the closest number without going over is gonna be 10. So this is gonna be 10 hours. The remainder is gonna be 42, so 42 minutes and zero seconds. This is the same answer that you're gonna find in the book. All right, for the last one, number 10, you're gonna have a fuel flow of 770 and a fuel quantity of 2,800. So take off these zeros, you're gonna be looking for 77 on the outside above your rate index, and then you're gonna be looking for 28 on the outside, and then you're gonna find your time on the inside. So for fuel flow, again, we're gonna be looking for 77 on the outside. 77, so you're right in between here, 70, 70 and 80. We're gonna line up our rate index. This one's kind of hard to see, because it's right there on that line. There's a bunch of extra lines in there, but you're gonna have 70, 75, 76, and 77. So now we're gonna be looking for 28 on the outside. I'm gonna rotate that, look for 28 on the outside. That's gonna be right here between 25 and 30. We're gonna go ahead, line that up. That's gonna be right between 21 and 22. So it's gonna be roughly 21.8, so 218. Two, one, eight minutes. So it's 218 minutes. So again, going back over here to the rule of 60, looking for that number without going over. So that's 180, three hours. So you're gonna have three hours. So 218 minus 180 is gonna leave you with 38. So 38 minutes and zero seconds. And this is gonna be the same answer that you're gonna find in your book.